own to be brave. Why? I'm not. I don't want to die. You're not going to die. Listen to me, Ned. You know it. You have to protect him. Promise me, Ned. Looking back on Ned Stark's story, we realize that there is something about his story that just doesn't make sense. If Ned promised Lyanna to take care of Jon Snow and passed him off as her illegitimate son, why did he take it upon himself to train Jon for battle? How is it that young Snow has a life as a Stark, risking arousing suspicion? Could it be that Ned had a plan B to make John the King of Westeros? Could it be that Ned thought John was the prince that was promised? If you want to see news, theories, and everything related to the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. Before we start with this video, if you want to participate in our new giveaway where we will be giving away an official shirt of this channel, The Three-Eyed Raven, it's easy to participate. All you have to do is subscribe to our channel, like this video and comment on which character you would like to see in the sequel of Game of Thrones. The winner will be announced on June 21st. If something became clear in Game of Thrones, is that the secret of Jon Snow's identity is something that Ned Stark would probably take to the grave if necessary. Ned Stark was a man of honor. His promise to Lyanna involved not only keeping Jon safe, but also giving him a life of dignity. Ned raised him as a Stark not only to protect him, but to provide him with an identity and a home. Training Jon for battle was also part of his upbringing, since in the North, learning to fight was essential to survival. But perhaps Ned had another plan. We have long thought that Ned sent John to the ice wall to protect him, but what if it was really to guide him and train him to be king? There are several things we must take into account. The first thing is that Ned never told Caitlin that John was his nephew. This makes sense, since Caitlin was very close to Littlefinger, and her sister Lisa Aaron was married to the Hand of the King. Although Caitlin always hated Ned for this, Ned never revealed the truth, however, he raised Jon Snow as a Stark. It is said that from birth, Jon was trained with the best sword in the North, as well as sitting at the foot of the nanny, listening to the stories of the White Walkers and Dragons. Jon also had a princely education, as he learned about all the stories of politics in Westeros, plus every day he trained in combat. Although Ned never revealed John's origin, he made sure that John had a prince's life, and although he was rejected for being the bastard son, he had the necessary preparation to become king. In the Game of Thrones book, it is explained that when John was sent to the Ice Wall, he was given the job of steward, as an assistant to Lord Commander Mormont, where he could learn even more about the leadership and politics of the Seven Kingdoms. This position also gave him a unique perspective on the true threat the White Walkers posed to Westeros, preparing him to be a key figure in the battle for the survival of mankind. During a conversation between Sam and John, it was revealed John's frustration at not being granted the position of Ranger. Sam told John not to worry, as he thought it had been Mormont's idea for John to learn. According to Sam, John was being trained to be a leader from the first day he arrived at the Night's Watch. We know that Benjen met Jon Snow when the latter arrived at Winterfell as a baby. Benjen joined the Night's Watch after Robert's rebellion and Lyanna's death. It is possible that the events of the rebellion, including Lyanna's death, could have influenced his decision to join the Night's Watch. However, if the idea that Ned had a plan B is correct, Ben Jen would not be at the ice wall by chance, he would be waiting for Snow's arrival to continue his training. But then, 
Why did John receive training as a prince and warrior? Why did he receive training to be a leader when he arrived at the Ice Wall? Ned Stark knows that the rightful heir to the throne is Jon Snow. In the Game of Thrones series, we saw how Ned lost his life for saying that Cersei's children were bastards, and had no right to the throne. The fact that Jon is the rightful heir, the son of Lyanna and Rhaegar, is not something Ned would let go so easily. Perhaps Ned thought that maybe, however remote the possibility, Jon might end up as king. Perhaps it is no coincidence that Jon was standing next to the only Targaryen maester in the north. It would seem that Jon was destined to become king from birth. But how did Ned arrange this and why? Was Ned's promise to Lyanna simply enough to risk it and generate suspicion? Bran and I worked it out. Your mother was Lyanna Stark, and your father was Rhaegar Targaryen. You've never been a bastard. You are Aegon Targaryen, the true heir to the Iron Throne. I'm sorry, I know it's a lot to take. My father was the most honorable man I ever met. You see, he lied to me all my life. Your father. Ned Stark, he promised your mother he'd always protect you. And he did, Robert would have murdered you if he knew. You're the true king. Aegon Targaryen, sixth of his name, protector of the realm, all of it. The motto of House Stark is that winter is coming, and I will add here an idea that perhaps we will see in the House of the Dragon. What if the prophecy of the prince that was promised is a secret also kept by the Starks since the time of Aegon? What if Ned thought, as did Rhaegar, that the prince that was promised would come from the lineage of ice and fire? What if Ned thought that John was the prince that was promised? If we look at John's story based on this idea, it starts to make sense why Ben Jen went to the Night's Watch, why John received prince training, and why he was sent with the only Targaryen left in the north. Maybe when Ned saw the deserter talking about the White Walkers he knew the time was coming. Maybe there's a lot of the story we don't know yet, and we might find out in the Game of Thrones sequel or in the books. But tell me what are your thoughts on all this, did Ned suspect that Jon was the prince that was promised? Did he think there was a chance that Jon was king? What do you think about this theory? And if you liked this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. And for more videos with theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Three-Eyed Raven